YouTube, Captain Tech here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to convert a DVD to MP4 format. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that we want to do is to download our two pieces of software. Uh, links are here as well as in the video description below. So we're just going to click on that and Google Chrome will come up or your web browser will come up and you want to save it or keep it or download it <laughs> and once it's finished you want to double click on it next I agree um, I do not want the YouTube downloader so I'm gonna uncheck that right here we're gonna hit next next I do not want to install Internet Explorer 9 so I'm going to select that right here and just install it. Okay, and hit finish. And let's go on to our second piece of software. And once again, this will be in the description below. Um, we're going to click on it and we'll wait. And we want to keep it. Okay, so it finished, and we want to double click on it. Next. I do not want a quick launch icon, so I'm going to uncheck that. Hit next. Install. Would you like DVD decrypt here to check if a newer version is available each time it loads? Just hit no. Um, I do not want to run DVD decryptor right now. So hit finish and let's close these out okay so once you're finished installing those two programs you want to put your DVD inside your computer and double click DVD decryptor uh, once it says ready um, you're ready to start so then you want to go to mode here at the top you want to click IFO check mark that and then just click it um, over here in stream processing you want to click on that and check the box that says enable stream processing uh, once that's done we want to go to tools up here at the top go to settings and then you then we want to go to IFO mode and where it says file splitting under options up here we want to click that drop down and go to none here you want to hit OK and then um, we want to change the destination of the file. Um, I recommend that you just put it at, put it at the desktop so it could be easily located, but it's your choice. So once I've done that, I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit this button right here. Now this should take um, a while, depending on uh, how how big your DVD is and how much media is on it should take between um, 5 to 20 minutes depending on the size of your DVD I'll get back when it's done okay so the decryptor has finished um, operation successful um, okay and you should see the um, the video over here and it has been decrypted from the DVD into a VOB uh, format and you will see, th um, in my case, there's three files here. And the one that we're really worried about is the video. As you can see, there's um, there's two of them that are just white. One of them is a .ifo. One of them is a, I think it's a text document. But the one we're worried about is this one, the VOB. So the next step is to open Videora. Double click on that. And here it's going to ask you for your iPod model. Um, just disregard that. Just select the iPhone 4. It doesn't mean that um, you have to use this on an iPhone or anything like that. It's just going to help us convert it to an MP4 format. So once you selected the iPhone 4, you want to go to Convert here at the top. Um, you want to go to Video File over here. And you want to select Power Mode so just click on power mode and now we're gonna select the file 
over here that we we converted over here so just locate it it was on the desktop and it's this one see dot vob double click on that and our output um, output directory we want to make that our desktop as well so I'm gonna make that my desktop we could change the title if you want but I'm just gonna keep it as that now here's the important part under profile we want to make sure that it's gonna come out as a MPEG 4 VGA 1024 kbps stereo so make sure it's this one not this one not this one not this one this one okay so I'm gonna select that and we're gonna hit start converting um, if you wanna see how it's doing you can click on view conversion process or progress sorry uh, what it's gonna do it's gonna stay at 99 for quite some time so don't get worried that it's like you know frozen on the one percent it's gonna take a while you know 10 to 15 20 minutes depending on um, the size of your file so just be patient give it give it half an hour and I'll get back when it's finished converting alright so the program has finished converting and over here you can see the final product um, the conversion took about 15 minutes for a one gigabyte video so for you uh, you guys out there who have larger files it might even take even longer so once again be very patient with the software um, you might think that it's frozen or something's wrong but you gotta be patient you know uh, wait it out because it is working and it just needs a little bit of time so to show you guys that this is really an mp4 format we're gonna right click on it go to properties and over here you can see it says mp4 video so there's the evidence that it does work so thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate this video thumbs up if this video helped you or if you have any questions please leave a comment below I'll try my best to respond to your questions and above all don't forget to subscribe thanks guys Thank you.